Hey guys, so welcome to this latest tutorial video that we're going to, today we're going to go through, we're going to look at LinkedIn matched audiences and we're going to take a, sort of a, a very quick uh, introduction to using LinkedIn matched audiences so that you can automatically update them using Zapier and using changes or new email addresses coming into your, uh, to your system and, uh, and then automatically putting them into an audience that you can then target on LinkedIn. So whenever they're uh, visiting LinkedIn, they're exploring and looking for different things, learning and uh, connecting with people, they'll see advertising or sponsored content, which is relating to your products and services. And so this is a great way to continue to keep them on your mind, uh, keep you on their mind and, uh, and hit them up at different points in their buying, in the, in the life cycle for the buyer journey. So for example, uh, you can target just uh, prospects, for example, that you've got leads coming in through your website, maybe from email addresses, from downloading uh, PDFs or something like that, or maybe it's from connecting at events, uh, running events and connecting, collecting email addresses there, um, or any other method as well. And in the example I'm going to run through today, it's a very specialized example uh, focused on your current clients. So having current clients, maybe you're looking to uh, re-engage them and, and you also want to remove them from lead lists where the marketing is going to be quite different and the advertising you're, you're doing for, for new prospects will be quite different than what you want to target with clients. So it's, it's good to keep them out of those lists and then you save on wasted advertising for them as well. So you can see here, this is, this is what we're going to end up with. This is in Zapier. We have new clients going to come, new information, new email address coming through here. We have a filter and then we have these two actions that are happening with LinkedIn matched audiences over in LinkedIn campaign manager. Okay. So we're going to jump in. Uh, let me know what you think. Cheers. So we start by going into our LinkedIn campaign manager. So this is linkedin.com slash campaign manager and you log in with your LinkedIn account. Uh, I'm assuming you've already got LinkedIn advertising set up. So we won't go through that in this case. We're just going to jump straight in. This is come somewhat more advanced class um, or tutorial uh, because there's a lot of assumptions here that you've already set up LinkedIn and maybe we'll do some videos uh, about setting up LinkedIn advertising as well for those who haven't done that before. But let's assume you've already set up your LinkedIn advertising uh, account and maybe you've already run some ads as well. Uh, and so we're going to, as, as I mentioned, we're going to go through the matched audiences feature today. Now you've got a few other ones here that you've hopefully already worked on or set up. And, uh, and if not, we'll, we'll cover those in, in other videos. There's com conversions. Uh, this is tracking activity on your site, uh, on your website using the LinkedIn uh, pixel or LinkedIn tag, uh, which exists. So this is website tracking. I've got one set up here, but we're going to focus on matched audiences. And so matched audiences are basically looking at uh, those people that have um, come through on your website or contacts that have signed up, downloaded forms, or you've got their details from other, other means, networking events or uh, clients uh, doing other kinds of activities where they've shared some details with you and primarily their email address. And you can use these email addresses to then set up uh, matched audiences so that the uh, LinkedIn then, then basically cross checks that email address with the user data that they have, and then we'll show ads just for that audience. So we can create different kinds of audiences. Website would be those that, have, that are coming to the website and doing activity on the website. List upload is, is where we have a list that we wish to upload using a CSV file or a spreadsheet file. And then lookalikes are those that are created based on those other two and, uh, and, uh, and essentially looking at the similar kind of values and then showing ads to those, to that audience. So we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the list upload feature, but we're not actually going to use this one because we're going to use Zapier to set up our list. And so we have an upload list here and here we can, we can select a list basically from our file here. And uh, we can also start with downloading the list template. But in our case, we're going to use Zapier. 
Now the problem, one of the limitations, I guess, or the features of the Zapier setup here is that you can't use Zapier to populate a matched list. You need to use a list which is which has initially been created by Zapier. So you can't, for example, create an audience here and upload your own list and then add to it with Zapier. It needs to come through Zapier to begin with and then Zapier will continue. So you can see this, this one that I already set up previously here with Zapier. So let's jump into Zapier and you'll see a bit more about what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go into Zapier, here's our main screen, create a new Zap. And what we're going to be doing with this sap is it's going to create a new matched. We want to create a new LinkedIn matched audience. Matched audience for um, clients. Say of current clients. Okay. Okay. And then we have, so we can make the name like this, create a new, and it's going to be a one off, one off zap. So I've just labeled it like this, but basically we're going to turn it off after we've run the zap because we're just create, we're just using this to create the audience because it needs to be created from within Zapier we're not actually uh, using this uh, ongoing for the zap. There'll be a second zap used for that. You'll see what I mean once we start. So we're going to set it up to run. It doesn't really matter because we're just going to turn it on and off. But I'll do this for the sake of just to demonstrate. And then the, the action we're going to have will be the LinkedIn matched audience. And as you can see, this is a premium, this is a premium uh, level zap. So you need to have a certain level in your, in your uh, Zapier account. And then we're going to create an audience. Okay. We select the account. Select my company account there, and then we need to name this audience. So we're going to call this audience Terrific Clients. Okay, automatically updated by Zapier. Okay, and then we can just test this. Okay, and then, and then we can go back into LinkedIn Campaign Manager and we can see, here we go, terrific clients. So we can see the zap is there. Oh, sorry, the, uh, the audience has been added. There's no one in the audience yet, so it's still technically building, but that it'll remain building until it gets large enough to send to. And the audience count is below 300 members. So LinkedIn can't really do much with audiences if they're too small or it won't do much. So this, uh, this has to be populated with more users before it could be useful for us. Let's go to the next zap. So that's, that's done. We don't even need to turn this on. We created that audience. So let's just copy that one. And I'm going to change the name to add new clients to LinkedIn matched audience. So we're going to, we're going to go HubSpot to LI matched. And we'll change this to hub to the HubSpot CRM. And then every time there's a new contact property changed, we're going to change based on that life cycle value. So if you go into HubSpot, if we go into HubSpot here, we have our contacts. 
And if we look at this particular contact, we can edit, we can look at the life cycle value, life cycle stage. And when they go from a subscriber to a customer, they will be added to this list. So let's have a look at that life cycle stage. Okay. So we'll test that. Let's see if it pulls up. That's just an example. We'll assume that's working. We're going to add a little filter as well. And we're going to say that for this life cycle stage needs to contain customer. So it probably won't continue in this case because it's just an example, but we'll, because it's just pulling in the HubSpot sort of example data there, but we'll leave it there. It's working now. And then we're going to add in the audience. So we've got LinkedIn matched audiences. We're going to add an email to that audience. So let's find that audience. Terrific clients. And we're going to put in the email here from HubSpot. And we'll test that. So now that's been added in. So now that email address has been added into this matched audience. And so whenever we run campaigns targeting that audience, the client, our current clients, we'll be able to uh, include that person. And if we turn this zap on, which we'll do in a sec, then every time we have a new contact changes to client in HubSpot, their details automatically go in to here. And we can also add in one other step. We can also remove them from the the sales leads audience. Let's remove email from audience. So we're not targeting them with advertising from the sales leads for the sales leads campaigns. So there we go. Sales leads. We add the email address in. Continue. Okay, great. And now we just turn it on. And then let's have a look at the task history. And we'll check if it runs. So let's go back into HubSpot. We'll set up, find someone else in this list. And we're going to edit that same property. Lifecycle to customer, update, okay. And then let's go back to task history. And then after a few minutes, we should see that this is running as well. So while we're waiting for that to go through, let's go back into LinkedIn and we can go to create campaign and we'll create a campaign targeting our, our new clients. And maybe we wanna let them know we want them to engage. That's how we're going to track the success of this. The objective for this campaign will be tracking. And then we need to set locations. Always need locations in LinkedIn. So let's go Asia, Europe, North America, let's say, to include and Oceania to include all of our clients. And then we're going to select this matched audience. So under matched audiences, you've got website audiences and uploaded lists. We're going to choose uploaded lists. And then here we can see terrific clients list from Zapier and it's still building. So this ad campaign won't run yet until it starts, until it has enough of an audience. And then we have our single image ad. We can, inc we can include an audience reach up to in the audience network, which we'll do. Here we set our budget and the start date and everything. Hopefully you're already very familiar with this if you've already been running LinkedIn ads. 
And then you also want to add your conversion tracking so you can see the success of this, of this campaign. And then click next and then follow through the next steps to set up the ad. I won't go through that now because you're hopefully already aware of that and we'll have other videos that relate to that. But the most important thing is this is where you find the target audience list. Okay, so let's go back to have a look at the Zapier, see if it's see if the Zap is activated properly. Okay, great. Looks like we have it updated here. So add new clients, lifecycle stage, customer. So we've got the email address that's been added as a new audience member. And we have an email address that's been removed from the other group. That's great. So that's it. Now that's running. And you can do a similar thing. It doesn't have to be clients. This is a very simple example for clients, but probably even more useful would be to look at your custom, like your prospects and leads coming in and create an audience for those, those guys. So for example, it could be uh, email addresses that you've got from other methods coming through on your website or any other way. And then those email addresses can then be pulled in at this first stage here. So you could also look at, you could change this. It could be, for example, Active campaign could be pipe drive, could be MailChimp email addresses, whatever it is. As long as you're getting permission to market these guys, you can do so. Okay, that's it. So thank you so much. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.